what do you think about when you hear about a time machine some may want to look into the past to see distant relatives while some on the contrary want to travel to the future in order to look at humanity from the side in a couple of decades in any case it sounds like something fantastic or maybe not it's hard to believe but today there are actually ways to travel in time i tried to figure out exactly how this can be done and right now i am ready to share the results there are currently no existing time machines no matter how hard scientists try to get close to creating one they lack the knowledge materials and people needed to succeed but who knows perhaps right now among you is a great physicist and at the same time an engineer my task is to introduce you to a theory your job is to hear it possibly with time you can give the world something very incredible what films are made about what many dream of something that no one has ever seen there are three main hypotheses for time travel the first follows from the theory of relativity of albert einstein according to his theory a leap into the future can be made by moving at the speed of light this will be possible because time for an accelerated person slows down compared to when standing still simply put traveling at speed of light you can circle the earth 10 times around the equator in about 1 second but for me sitting still and creating a video about 3 seconds will pass if we consider this on a more serious scale imagine space travel suppose you travel at the speed of light to the star system alpha century meanwhile i would remain on earth to wait for your return as you explore the vastness of the universe i would continue getting older for you 6 years would pass for me it would be 10 after returning to earth you would see how everything around has changed your children would grow up the house would be completed the technologies you knew would become obsolete however you will still be young and take a huge step into the future the second hypothesis is long term freezing according to this principle a living organism is frozen for a certain time after which it is restored and continues to live an ordinary life but there is a small problem the human body doesn't work like the body of a cold blooded frog and scientists can't do anything about this yet therefore we will have to hold off on freezing ourselves for now the third hypothesis is about improving our knowledge in the field of quantum physics if we learn all the subtleties of the science we will learn how to teleport information and physical objects it would be great but this is an incredibly difficult task for modern science so let's leave this hypothesis for future generations of all that i have listed about the very first hypothesis the speed of light appears to be the most realistic famous physicist stephen hawking long thought about its connection with time displacements he made several attempts to prove that this is possible even in theory in his latest book published in 2018 the scientist made his final assumption i'll rely on him as we move forward so how fast is the speed of light it's believed that in a vacuum it's 299 million 792458 meters per second that's 983 million 571056 feet per second or 299800 kilometers per second or 186287 miles per second in the presence of air the speed will be less but not by much it's unlikely that we will be able to complete a temporary leap in air space so we won't dwell on minor differences now that we have figured out the speed of the light and the travel environment what remains is to learn exactly what kind of device can help us to accomplish this the fastest man made space object in history is the parker solar probe its current speed record is approximately 393000 kilometers an hour or 244225 miles an hour but it's assumed that by 2025 it will be able to attain a maximum speed of 692000 kilometers or 430000 miles an hour very good for a space probe but still not enough for time travel the speed that it will develop will be approximately 0.064% of the speed of the light do you see how little this is but let's put aside engineering formalities features of the human body and some laws of physics and just try to get closer to the dream to achieve at least 1% of the speed of light you need to combine the capabilities of 16 such devices that works simultaneously at full power to achieve 100% we need 1600 units one would think that this is the time machine we are looking for but if everything were to be so simple scientists would already have long age begun to act Firstly the cost of one such project amounted to about 1 and 1/2 billion dollars 
After making simple calculation, I found out that at least 2.4 trillion dollars would be required to create 1600 such Parker solar props. That's a pretty large sum for a dubious machine. Secondly, no one knows such a device would be have. It may not show any results an accident could happen. Anyway, nothing like this has ever been built. In addition to accelerate to the speed of light, you will need a huge amount of fuel to maintain the speed would require to an infinite supply. There are no gas stations in space yet. So that's not what we need. So let's go to plan B. According to Hawking, one can also travel in time with the deformation of space time. If this occurs, a so called wormhole is formed the original space tunnel. Moreover, you can move both toward the past and the future. It all depends on the type of wormhole itself. To visualize how it works, draw two dots on a piece of paper. There will be some distance between them, which will take time to cover. But we want to deceive time, so let's play a little trick. Folding the sheet in half, you will see how the points of space connect. The distance between them will be unnoticeable and can be covered in a split second. This is how wormholes work according to the theory of relativity. It would seem that everything is quite simple, but it lacks one important detail. Exotic matter before wormhole can be used, it has to fill it with this substance. So you can enter from one end and exit from the other. In the absence of such matter, the portal through space and time will slam shut. Even before you have time to move from one end to the other, this type of matter is still unknown to modern scientists. But we can roughly assume how a time machine based on a wormhole would work. For a successful journey, one end of the wormhole must be accelerated to near light speed and then return to its original state. It sounds pretty complicated. That is why even the great minds of modern science can't create anything like this. But may there is a chance to find something similar in space. Yes, there is and this chance is much greater than you might expect. It's believed that a wormhole is a combination of black and white holes. All these objects have a strong curvature of space. However, the wormhole has no event horizon. Like a black hole, a trap from which we can't return. Surprisingly, such temporary tunnels don't contradict the law of physics. But for now in space, there isn't a single confirmed candidate for this role. All the hypotheses and theories previously described speak mainly about traveling into the future. Yes, that's right. I said that a wormhole can be used to travel into the past. But there is still a lot of work to be done and also many years of waiting. What do we have for now in a sense? You can leap into the past without leaving your home. It's enough. Just look out the window at the sky. You will see the light reaching us from planets and distant stars to overcome the distance to the earth. It took hundreds, thousands and even the millions of years. Simply put, now you see what happened incredibly long ago. In the meantime, scientists are trying to solve all the secrets of space and time. I hope you like this video and be sure to like this video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Also click on the bell quickly to make sure you don't miss out a new video on important future releases.